Restless genital syndrome and persistent genital arousal disorder are two rare diseases that are little known among doctors, unless you specialize in related fields such as neurology, psychiatry, and gynecology. Hello to all, I am Mangana. I am a psychiatrist and I would like to share with you the summary of my latest published article. In this article, we try to show how it is possible to misdiagnose persistent genital arousal disorder instead of restless genital syndrome and state factors to differentiate them. This article titled Differentiation of Restless Genital Syndrome from Persistent Genital Arousal Disorder a Case Report was published in Current Psychiatry Research and Reviews and was written in collaboration with my dear friend Elham Moimpur as a co-author. In this article, we present a case that presented for the first time with constant discomfort in the genital area. Her features were consistent with persistent genital arousal disorder. However, her follow-up for months revealed that the main problem was restless genital syndrome. In this picture, you can see the course of the symptoms and the factors affecting it. Why is it important? To differentiate these two conditions. Persistent genital arousal disorder is an underrecognized disorder with many uncertainties regarding its diagnosis and treatment. However, the management of restless genital syndrome is similar to restless leg syndrome. We have treatment guidelines for RLS that can be applied to restless genital syndrome. After reviewing many articles on persistent genital arousal disorder cases, I realized that many of them could have been misdiagnosed, especially cases in which the coexistence of RLS and overactive bladder was mentioned. <laughs>